Not sure what to get from the grocery store for healthy meals and weight loss? I'm gonna show you everything that's in my fridge so that by the end of this video, you'll have a whole list of healthy meals and healthy snack ideas so you know exactly what you can eat for fat loss. Say goodbye to second guessing yourself at the grocery store and spending hours and lots of money on things that you don't even eat. For the best healthy and sustainable weight loss advice, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video every Wednesday. I've helped dozens of women and clients eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle for good. That means that they don't have to give up their favorite foods and all they have to do is make small changes like what's in their fridge. Now it's your turn, so let's hop into what's in my fridge. Welcome to my fridge. This is just a quick overview. On the top shelf, I usually keep drinks, fruits, dips, and some miscellaneous stuff. Here we have green grapes, raspberries, and apple. I really don't eat a lot of apples, so we only have one. Hummus, that's a paprika container, but it's just peeled garlic that my mom gave me. Behind there, I have baking soda, and that just makes sure that it collects all the scents and keeps your fridge fresh. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I see that's all the time. Keep it all the way in the back because obviously I don't need to reach that. I have a little bit of taco sauce, red harissa paste for a little bit of spice, chicken cooking stock that I have left over, salsa, and some tahini. Let's go down to the second shelf, which is my favorite shelf, all my veggies. I know a lot of people say to put your fruits and veggies in the drawers because it keeps them very fresh, but realistically, I do not check my drawers, especially because I have a long fridge it's not half a fridge where everything is in eyesight the things at the bottom we never eat so to ensure that I eat all my vegetables I keep them right in sight in the second shelf this probably contradicts a lot of what people say in their fridge tours or what's actually good for your vegetables but honestly if it's all the way down in the bottom drawers and I'm not eating it anyway then it's being wasted right so I keep them on the second shelf and that way as soon as I open my fridge like you can see all of these beautiful vegetables so I can just grab and go. For this week, I have tomatoes. I diced them up, again, to be sure that I eat them. And I have some baby carrots, bell peppers, red and orange. In this little bin, I love these. These are from the dollar store. It's great for storage in the fridge. And I would also do that with the fruit if I had a little bit more fruit, but the rest of my fruit is in the pantry, like bananas and pineapple. This right here is my pantry room. So if you wanna see a full tour of my pantry room, let me know in the comments below and I would love to film that for you. It's so organized and beautiful, so I would love to share that. Back to the bins, I love these again from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. And here I have vegetables. So I have broccoli, jalapeno peppers, and some cucumbers. On the side here, I have scallions. I love scallions. We have a half a cabbage. It actually was sold like that, which I personally love because I'm making it for one recipe. It just made sense to get half a cabbage instead of a full one because it's just my boyfriend and I, we definitely don't need or will eat a full cabbage. So that's that's a really good idea. I keep knocking this pepper over. So that's a really good idea if you feel like you don't eat a lot of your fruits and vegetables and they go bad. Here we have butter lettuce, cilantro, and then romaine lettuce. Those are my vegetables. I obviously have onions and garlic and all of that in the pantry. This next shelf looks boring right now, but it's where I keep all my leftovers and right now I don't have any leftovers. So let me show you. Here I just have some snack packs. We got these at Costco because we actually tasted them the other day day when we were there and they were so good. So they're these cheese and nut and fruit packs. I cut off the, the flaps on top so that way it was really easy to grab and go. Usually I keep whatever I am making for dinner. The protein source is right there because that is defrosting. So a lot of my meats and protein sources are in the freezer. In the morning, I look at my meal plan. If you're not sure how to meal plan, I have a full video of that. I'll link it right here for you. Today we're having chicken thighs in this Asian sauce. So here we have the chicken thighs, they're defrosting. I have some cut up white and sweet potatoes for later if I wanna air fry them. That is just some leftover refried beans that I'm going to use later this week. And then Rao's homemade vodka sauce. Rao's is literally the most delicious pasta sauces ever and the ingredients are freaking awesome. Even for vodka sauce, they're really good. If you're not sure how to read nutrition labels, watch my nutrition label video, I'll also link that. But here you see the ingredients, very short 
dessert. As you can see, there's no added sugar, which is amazing because most sauces have sugar, plus it's made in Italy, so you know it is authentic. I love that sauce. They also sell that at Costco. Okay, now let's move on to the next drawer. A lot of you might not eat dairy, but we surely do. We have butter, light sour cream, cream cheese, string cheese, great protein snack. We have turkey pepperoni to snack on if we're eating this with cheese or we're making pizzas. That right there is white American slices and like one slice of orange. We actually don't eat them, but we had a barbecue and we never ate them. So yeah, that's just there. And then sometimes we'll eat it on burgers or whatever. And we have some Parmesan cheese, goat cheese. This is our favorite cheese. We put this on everything, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And then this little bag is blocks of cheese that we had left over again from a party. All right, so that's that drawer. Next drawer is a little bit interesting how I set this up. Here I have all of our Greek yogurts. We literally eat these every day. That just made sense for me to put them in the drawer so that they're not being stacked on one of the top shelves and you can't see the flavors. They fall over and it's just like, it's a hot mess. So. As you can see with this fridge tour, I want you to do what works for you. Like just because people say that you need to have veggies in the fresh drawer, that doesn't mean you need to do it. Like I saw that I wasn't eating my veggies and they were going bad, I had to throw them away. So I put them in my eyesight. I got so frustrated every time I went to grab a Chobani yogurt, it, the whole stack would fall over. So this is what works for us and that's what I want you to take away from this video is do what works for you. Just because it's not right, it's not the proper way, does not mean that you shouldn't do it. Let's get back to the yogurt, chocolate chip cookie dough is our favorite and what I do because these are pretty high in sugar and high in carbs I add five total zero percent Greek yogurt I'll put this whole thing in a bowl I'll add like two heaping tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt so that way it brings the sweetness down but it also adds like 10 more grams of protein and then we have some 2% cottage cheese I know a lot of people aren't fans of cottage cheese but I love that with the green grapes that I have mm, so good final drawer because we don't use this drawer often this is where we keep our breads I have some pumpkin spice bread Dave's killer whole grain bread bagels and one hamburger bun just in case we need it we don't eat bread often that's why I keep it in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad and this is just a perfect spot for it because it's all the way down at the bottom and we don't need to get to this all the time so far in this video I showed you what's in the main compartments of my fridge now let's move on to what's in my door but before we move on give this video a thumbs up if you love fridge tours and comment yes down below if you feel so productive after you go to the grocery store I'm gonna show you what's on my door I keep my eggs up here this is a carton that we got from our supermarket but I usually buy an 18 pack from Costco I keep it in my fridge outside in my garage and then I just keep refilling this because this only holds 12 eggs next up we have our most used beverages a lot of people will tell me to keep the drinks on the top shelf all the way by the back so that it stays cold but I use these all the time every single morning I use this so it just makes sense for me that it's on the door I've never had an experience where my milk went bad or my milk was warm from being on the door. So again, do what works for you. So here I have some creamer, unsweetened original almond milk, Fair Life 2% milk, and then kombucha, which I drink every morning. Down here, I keep these jars of pickles. My dad makes the best pickled jalapenos. He also makes pickled lemons. So I keep that right here. It just makes it really easy and convenient. Here I have olives. Back here is our most used condiments. So we have ketchup, honey mustard, and barbecue sauce us down here there's no real rhyme or reason it's just basically everything that we use up there is more used and then down here are the things that are less used this jar I got from TJ Maxx and that has a little bit of my homemade dressing I have to make some more I've been loving making dressings lately we have hot sauce tartar sauce cocktail sauce I don't really use those much here we have some hoisin sauce dressing from Trader Joe's taco sauce we eat tacos once a week lime juice I usually use fresh limes but this is for when we run out and and then some mayo. Down here, I have this bottle of wine that we have to finish. It doesn't fit, so it's like annoying. Uh, we have to drink it. Down here, Dijon mustard, jam, maple syrup, whipped cream that we have left over from a party. Wes likes the sweet chili sauce. Capers, because I needed that for a recipe. Soy sauce and chocolate syrup. That is it. That is my whole fridge. Here we have an overview. 
far as our fridge goes, I don't want to get too much in detail with this because there's a lot of food in here, but for the most part, we have breakfast sausage, skinny cow ice cream, we have some grilled chicken patties, turkey patties, vegetables. Down here is all my meats and seafood that I keep in the freezer so that they don't go bad. Down there is more breads. Here is the drawer, which has just some random stuff. And that's it for my freezer. We do have another fridge in the garage. It's a fridge freezer combo. Most of what we keep in there is drinks, some beers for when guests come over, any extra eggs, or cream, or milk that we can't fit in our fridge in here goes in there. Now you know exactly what to buy from the grocery store and how to set up your fridge so that you actually eat the food that you buy. But what about staying consistent with exercise and sticking to your diet? I've created a free, easy three-day course on how to stay consistent with exercise and actually stick to your diet, but also how to get and stay motivated. It comes with a free workbook too, so you can implement the strategies right away. You can download it for free in the description box below. Check out this video here and this video here on how to lose weight and eat healthier without changing your entire life to do so. If you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps out my channel and be sure to subscribe using the link down below. I'll see you in the next one. Same time, same place. Bye.